Yeah, I'm Laura. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Diversio. Uh, my background and really the genesis of Diversio as a platform company is I spent most of my career in consulting. And so I worked with McKinsey and Company and helped organizations and actually governments create plans to grow their bottom line through diversity, equity, and inclusion. What I learned through that process is that companies are not making progress, frankly, probably not a surprise. And a lot of that comes down to a lack of metrics, no data, no real reporting, no accountability, and ultimately no tool. So no solution that they could implement similar to Salesforce or HubSpot to help them really track and manage diversity and of course that, that experience side. The idea was, could we really productize a you know, really high quality consulting engagement and turn that into a tool or a platform that companies could use to track their progress, uh, unlock issues like harassment, attract more diverse candidates into their workforce, and again, really make it into a business priority. I'm extremely proud of our team and our ability, I think like many other start startups, to pivot, uh, double down when needed, be adaptable, be creative, be innovative. And so it's been quite a journey. You know, when the pandemic first happened, our assumption was diversity tech is, you know, this is not our moment. There's a global pandemic, attention is elsewhere. Um, our thought was the market would slow down, that we would see, you know, a recession really of, of interest in this space. And so our team was prepared for that. And we, you know, reorganized and we restructured and thought about what it would look like to pivot. And then when the protests happened and we ended up with a ton of momentum and a ton of inbound, they pivoted back. And we really hacked together, I think super scrappy, hacked together solutions, growth hacks. Um, our product, we're extremely proud of it. We've been releasing features at quite a clip. Um, you know, our, our NPS is 85. And so our team's ability to, I think, react and roll with the punches and deliver a fantastic employee experience has been has been great. We just raised our Series A, which is very exciting, uh, working with First Round Capital and Golden Ventures out of Toronto, uh, Shandaria Family Holdings as well. And so we're very excited to staff up in Europe, staff up in the United States, um, roll out V3 of our dashboard, incorporate some really cool university partnerships that we've been, been working on. So I think it's taking it to that next level. The C100 Fellowship experience to me was more than I expected and what I have gained the mo most value from, I could not have anticipated. So that was things like having the team be personally thoughtful and dedicated to all of our success, getting you know random invites three days ahead of time, come have breakfast with the Canadian ambassador, or we're pulling together a group of folks uh, in New York to have dinner, um, you know, including you know, we ended up with a client in the in the audience. So invite some friends and meet some people in the city. So the quality of the network, and then I think once you get to know how to use it, so even things like the Slack channel um, have been fantastic. So we have gone on there and posted job postings and ended up with great candidates. Questions about outsourcing um, different services, great recommendations. So I think the more involved you get in the network, the more usefulness you'll get out of it, which I think actually was kind of an added bonus to having the year long program instead of the 48 hour session is that you ended up getting or I felt like I got more um, out of the full suite of, of kind of offerings.